Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. Um, I'm going to do a 2017 planner setup. As you can see, I went from one planner, or two planners, to four planners. <laughs> it gets addicting, trust me. <laughs> but anyways, it's because the planner that I was using last year was heavy. It was an A5 Kiki K and it was really heavy in my purse and um, I'm older people. Like I, I can't be carrying that heavy stuff. You younger girls shouldn't be carrying it either because you know we have back problems and shoulder problems and all kind of problems from carrying all that crap we carry in our purses. So anyways, I decided that I'm gonna switch it up and I'm doing this because I also wanna teach myself a lesson. <laughs> Last year, sometimes I wasn't very good about keeping track of things or journaling or things like that. So this year I decided to see, track myself and see how often I use it and when I use it and sort of remind myself and things like that. So planners, I'm still using um, the same happy planner from last year. Well, not the same one, I bought a new one. Um, and this is gonna be my main planner. Um, this is going to be future planning. That's how I'm going to um, break it up. I'm going to do all future planning in this. And then I added this little mini planner because they came. So this is a wallet slash planner sort of because I don't really have any plans in here, only to do lists and grocery lists, things like things that I need to do while I'm out of the house. And then I added this it was spiral bound planner <laughs> that I changed to the disc bound system and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box if you are interested in how I did that. I like this system better. It works better for what I want to do with it. It's tracking only because I found that sometimes I would forget to track things last year in my system. And so what I did is I created a habit tracker sort of like the um, DIY fish one, but this on this side it'll be 15 and on the other side I'll continue it too. And these are all the habits that I want to form for um, this upcoming month or whatever. And I feel like um, in order to make it a habit, you have to do it for at least a month. I, I think I heard it was like 21 days, but you know, for me, I just like to do it for a whole month just to get myself in the routine of things. So that way I can do it without even having to remind myself or write it or think about it. It just comes naturally. So I wanted to keep that in here and see how I'm doing with that. And then I'll flip to monthly layout. So we'll start with this. A summary or at a glance of what I did like where I went if we celebrated a certain holiday specific place um, what I spent there or certain bills that I paid like if I uploaded on YouTube um, did I work that day did I have a holiday um, even like my time of the month I know that might be FYI for some people but um, yeah I like to track that and then um, this is also where I'll keep my reward system. And if you'd like me to do a further in-depth um, video on my reward system, go ahead and let um, me know in the comments below. But this will basically be an overview for the whole month of my tracking. And then along the sidebar here, I'm gonna be tracking my totals in each category. like say how much I spent on stickers that month for the whole month, a total there, how much I spent on household goods like, you know, paper towels, toilet paper, trash bags, things like that for a total of the month. And then, uh, so here I'm gonna break it down into categories. And then here's basically like how much I income, how much I spent and how much um, I have a difference. And then flip it to my weeklies. And my weeklies are gonna be basically tracking a lot. Um, I plan to put like um, the weather in here and then my mood or and any big event that I had that day, like that I had to do mostly grocery shopping all day, mostly cleaning all day, you know, whatever. And then what I did with my son, if we did anything together. I try to like do one thing with my son a day, so that way, you know, I don't get too wrapped up in adulting. <laughs> so this is basically home and work tracking. And then this is basically finances tracking. And then this is like health and fitness for me tracking. 
So basically right here, I'm gonna put like, if I worked, you know, how much I'm supposed to make that day. So that way I can make sure, you know, accidents happen, mistakes are made. And so I wanna keep track if they're paying me exactly what I'm supposed to, like so they add up right. And then I also wanna keep track right here on how much I spent that day. Like if I bought anything, the total of my expenditures all day long right there. And then anything that I put in my savings and then what I have left. I'm thinking of adding a debt thing, but I think as long as I have a debt thing over on the month, I should be good because I'm only going to be paying my debt once a month. I'm not going to have like a daily thing. It's sort of like a bill. You just pay those bills and then they're done for the month. So anyways, my next one is in the morning. I for always forget to eat breakfast. I know it's the most important meal of the day. So I put down that I would like to start that as a habit. And if I don't have time to make a full on breakfast, then at least um, do a breakfast shake. So I, once I get that done, I'll just fill in the little heart bubble there to let myself know that I actually did it. And then um, I like to work out in the morning before I go to work. Sometimes I get lazy and don't wanna do it and I skip things a lot. So this is just making sure that I did it and then how much calories I ate for that day. And then I, right here I put like any Bible studies that I'm doing for that day, like um, verses that I wanna remember, whatever. And then of course my um, hydration, you know, and then um, my vitamins, my daily fiber intake, my, um, I like to drink a lot of herbal teas, different teas do different things, so I wanna keep track that I'm doing that. And then my lemon drink in the morning. So that's basically it for the weekly pages. And then I'm also going to keep um, uh, journaling back here. So I divided it up into, I'm going to divide it up into sections like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and for each day I'll just write down, you know, what happened and journal any um, important events, maybe even add a little picture to it because that would be cute too, just to see, you know, so these pages and I need to add some more note pages, but those are going to be my um, journaling section. And then I'm going to track my expenses here. Anything, anything and every single thing that I expend, that I spend is gonna go here. So that way I can know, like say if I put down over here that I spent, you know, 20 bucks, then I can look back here and be like, okay, what day was that? Oh yeah, I had to buy that, okay. You know, so that way at least I'll know exactly. So I don't really need need and want here. So what I basically was gonna do is put the date, the amount, what it was for, what I used, and then a running total. So that way I could have that here to always look back on and remember. And I think that's about it guys. That sums it up for my uh, tracking planner. So I thought it would be a lot easier on my shoulders and my back if I would just, I separated into three planners now. And it, that's why if you're interested in how my planner setup is for 2015, I'll leave a link in the description box and also a link for how I did my um, disc bound system on this recollection planner in the description. And if you appreciate this type of video, if you're interested in more videos or different variety videos, let me know in the comments below and definitely I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye, guys.